Bloom syndrome is a medical disorder characterized by hugely increased risk of cancer and other features. Signs and symptoms include short stature, phototoxicity, high-pitched voice, distinctive facial features, learning disabilities, increased risk of diabetes, COPD, and recurrent infections of the respiratory tract, ears, and lungs during infancy. Bloom syndrome is rather a very rare disorder with about 275 cases reported. Although it occurs in many ethnic groups, it is more prevalent in people of Ashkenazi Jewish heritage whose ancestry pointed to Poland or the Ukraine. People with Bloom syndrome have 150 to 300 times the risk of developing cancerous growths as do the people without Bloom syndrome. Exact incidence of Bloom syndrome is not known. Bloom syndrome is a very rare disease and about 275 cases have been reported in the medical literature. Bloom syndrome is a genetic disorder in which the causative gene has been mapped to chromosomal locus 15q26.1. It is inherited as an autosomal recessive genetic trait. The effective gene is responsible for encoding BLM protein and a single mutation, known as BLMASH, causes almost all cases of Bloom syndrome among Ashkenazi Jews. Family history of Bloom syndrome is one of the strongest risk factors. Bloom syndrome patients are short and underweight with a small head circumference and normal body proportions. Affected infants and children usually present with distinctive craniofacial features. Sometimes a reddish facial rash is present, butterfly pattern on the cheeks and across the nose that is due to the dilation of very small blood vessels of the face. Cafe au lait spots, abnormal brown or gray skin coloration may occur on other parts of the body. The skin becomes photosensitive and may become reddish upon exposure, especially on the face. At least 50% of these patients eventually develop any one of a variety of malignancies, especially leukemia and digestive tract cancers. About 10% of patients proceed to develop diabetes as well. There may be patchy loss of skin color, sacral dimple, reduced number of teeth, ichthyosis, hyperhidrosis, bronchiectasis, cryptorchidism, absence of lateral maxillary incisor, specific learning disabilities, and chronic lung disease. Male sterility is common because of inability to produce sperm. Female infertility is also common because of premature ovarian failure. Also, people with Bloom syndrome may have immune system deficiency that often result in increased events of middle ear infections and pneumonia. Many patients with Bloom syndrome have high-pitched voice, prominent ears, dental abnormalities, pilonidal cyst, and polydactyly, presence of extra fingers. Occasionally, other anomalies of the eyes, ears, hands, and feet may be present. Bloom syndrome is a very rare disorder and the diagnosis can be challenging. It requires careful clinical examination, routine lab tests, imaging studies, and molecular genetic analysis to establish the definitive diagnosis. There is no permanent and exact cure. The mainstay of treatment of Bloom syndrome is symptomatic and supportive. Sunscreens may be used to reduce exposure to UV radiation, and these persons should limit contact with direct sunlight. Periodic dermatology evaluation is also advised. Infections must be treated timely and aggressively with antibiotic drugs. Corrective surgeries must be done for the features which require surgical intervention as the definitive treatment. Vigil watch must be kept by periodic monitoring and screening methods to watch for indications of cancer, especially with patients who reach adulthood. For more information about Bloom syndrome, list of expert doctors, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.